I trust this will suffice. God smiles upon the generous. Oh, away with you! Back to your sexpit, beggar! A land grotesque as its people. You dreamt of utopia. You saw the tribes united as one. Oh. That dream died long ago. You should have done the same. Your kingdom will perish alongside you. By my hand. I cannot fathom it. His Majesty killed in his own bed. The blooms upon the Prince's grave had yet to wilt. Without an heir to wear the crown, what will become of the royal magic? Thus vulnerable, an invasion might undo us. From within or without, the state hangs on a precipice. It may even come to civil war. In dark times, we must stand together. Your eminence! Who could do this? Few could even enter the king's chambers, let alone draw close. And yet... And yet, his majesty's arcane power could deflect near any blade. With all the royal bloodline's magic, who could harm him at all? Shadows stir in the castle just as they did with the prince. What hellbound soul could end a royal life? Who would dare such atrocity? Huh? Luis. A shame to die with no heirs. The prince was taken too soon. And only a king may wield the royal scepter, the very crux of his vaunted bloodline's magic, which made such a fine deterrent to war. One has to ask, them dead, who shall take the throne? Sup dudes, my name's Kira and welcome, finally, to Metaphor Re-Fantasio. I couldn't play this when the game launched, because I was busy with other games like Persona and Shin Megami, but finally, we've made it to Metaphor Re-Fantasio, a game that I've been hyping up for freaking ever, seems like. Uh, I am super, super excited to get into this so much right now. I've, uh... I was able to play the demo of it when it uh, first came out and I streamed it over on Twitch and I still got the recording of it if anyone wants to really see that but uh, I have played a couple hours of this game and uh, it's 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 just oh, it's really good it's such a, a, a lively freaking world to really jump into and just kind of 
be a part of. It's, it is something really amazing. Uh, it does have the same kind of mechanics you would assume from like games like Persona and Shin Megami. Kind of like combined. Uh, and that will be kind of more touched upon once we get into the actual combat of the game. But um, yeah, super excited to really kind of get into this. I was uh, trying to start this up and uh, <laughs> I was wondering why my freaking like monitor kept freaking like shutting off for a second and uh, cause uh, somewhere setting, I don't know what it was about, but uh, uh, so it, I had saved data loaded, uh, like saved. I didn't get to do the option to do it though. So I don't know what that's about, but uh, it's fine. I planned it on just starting from the start anyway. Oh, wait, here we go. <laughs> uh, save data from the demo version has been found. I mean, sure. That's been fetched. You can continue from where you left off in the demo version by selecting load game. Okay, whatever. We're going straight to the start. I am just so excited to put. Don't tell me it's restarting again. <laughs> I did the whole intro thing. What? Oh, come on now. Uh, did it restart? I think it restarted. Oh. War is on the horizon. Before they command that I dry my pen, I must finish my final work. It is a tale of hope that may yet salvage this world. It isn't right. This idea of foreigners has only ever been a tool against the foreign. If we could end such prejudice, surely war would be next to fade. We would be free to travel to far-flung lands. The reality is, we are riddled with anxiety. We fight. We oppress. And magic is but a tool of war. Our world could be better. Can we not dream such dreams? In such a world, they need no sorcery. A megapolis is built through learning and skilled labor. Glass spires reach the heavens. Safe nights with no dark shadows. Streets well-traveled. And in the laws of these emotionally satisfied people, it reads, all lives are equal. I know. Just a daydream. Castle on a cloud. Yet I have faith. I believe that fiction can become hope, wielded by a worthy avatar. I believe a hero will stand true and change the world. After all, this world need not stay like this forever. The will to believe in something beyond us, indeed that, is what we call fantasy. Oh my. Yeah, the world of fantasy. Okay, <laughs> I'm back here. <laughs> I was like, uh, huh. All right, can I actually start the game now? <laughs> My God, there's like multiple intros, dude. Who's there? I can feel you watching me from a place beyond my sight. Now, like I said, I've actually played the demo. So I've gotten a, a good chunk at the beginning here, kind of uh, where I already know about. There's a certain point where I stopped playing. I never even completed it, by the way. I never actually went all the way through. I kind of stopped somewhere towards the end of it, though. Um, it was like five hours in or so, probably longer. Uh, but 
yeah, freaking just the social links themselves. I, there's been whole like uh, <laughs> some people online have been kind of uh, talking about it for sure. How like uh, how like oh, why can't I romance it? But well, let's not talk about that because <laughs> we don't want to jump into that because that's a that's a that's a whole field that you don't want to step on, and uh, I'm I'm not gonna do it. You know, I'm just gonna turn around and not gonna do it. Whoever you are, please tell me. Does our world pique your interest? Maybe. Pardon my curiosity, but would you tell me your name? That is to say, tell me who you really are. The one who meets my eyes across a strange threshold. Who are you? You shall guide the protagonist. So you actually do get to insert here at least two different names. One for uh, the actual main character and uh, another person. Uh, so this is not who uh, our person is going to be. This is technically ourselves, the, the player themselves, actually. So you can put any name in here. I forget what I actually put in here before. I don't know if I want to put my name, though, actually. Ah, frick it. Let's do it. I see you will name the protagonist later. Ah, oh, a most unusual name. One I've never heard in our world. Which suggests to me you might reside in a world beyond ours. It is a curious thing that in your eyes, my entire world is but the dawn of a story yet untold. It's weird that the, the fantasy that they're talking about, it's kind of like our reality, you know? Or to put it another way, this is a fantasy. Yeah. But can it truly be dismissed as something so far removed from you? If indeed you wish to cross to our world for a time, I would first ask that you indulge one question. Is fantasy limited to the confines of imagination? Would you call it a powerless creation <laughs> that, that's right <laughs> not always uh, I think I said that's right not always more than wishful thinking more than fiction something capable of affecting the realities beyond its bounds this must be what you believe I confess my own answer still eludes me but consider if fantasy is born from hope, a desire to make the world better than it is, then that hope can be made manifest. Thus does change come, and thus is fantasy forged into a new reality. Perhaps the story about to unfold before you will tell us. I'm thoroughly invested now myself. So, let this tale begin. All right, I can't even pick regicide. God damn, yeah, God, God damn, dude. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna go straight to normal. I'm not really going to try to go for hard, and I'm not that tired, of dude. Only in like Yaxa games, that's where I can go hard mode and whatever. But we'll go with normal because these types of games, I just I can't. Uh, if you've seen the last few videos I've been posting lately, containing the uh. Uh, like, uh, the, at least the, uh, Shin Megami games. Uh, I, I'm tired of fighting hard bosses for now. <laughs> I just wanted to enjoy a game. I just wanted to enjoy a nice story for once. Yeah, we're gonna start on normal. Let me know below, what, what do you guys prefer? For a hard mode? Oh my god! Looks like we're in the clear. The capital's just through this desert. Is it true then? The king is dead. Aye, and the guards are more concerned with the funeral than keeping the road safe. So now the monsters are roaming in broad daylight. No soldiers to stop them. Monsters, huh? I've certainly been hearing the stories. <laughs> to say nothing of the vacant throne. Oh my There's god! Mark my words. That much is certain. 
What's the problem? <laughs> uh oh. They found it. Come on, let's see some respect for the militia. Us folk, we're commoners. No crown or church will save us. But Lord Luis will save us one and all. All we ask is a little tribute. You're with us or against us. And if you're against us. Uh... An igniter? Ugh. How'd they get rid of those? <laughs> Oh my god, it's freaking Holgenberg. Ah. Uh, I mean, I don't know who that is. <laughs> huh? Look at you. What have we got here? He's an elder. So he is. No horns, no knife ears. Filthy gremlin like you. What you got in the capital? <laughs> oh, what's this? Looks like you've been holding out on us, boy. <laughs> hey, that's my book. Give it back. Hold it. Oh! Should have listened to us, chum. <laughs> now fall in line. You drew steel. I take it you are prepared to die by it. No. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> Ah, yeah, I was just trying to get to the city, dude. Ugh. This place already feels like a death trap. You hear all that stuff about Lord Luis saving us? I'm dead, Galaga. Help me. Help. Hey, you okay? You still got all your limbs attached? Ah. Uh. Well, at least they didn't figure out our mission. Definitely could have gone worse. Wait, what mission? <laughs> are, are you alright? Are you all right? Oh yes. Yeah. So uh, your uh, protagonist here—he's not actually a, a full-on silent protagonist like other uh, Atlas protagonists. Like this guy actually has voice lines, and it threw me off at first. I was like, "Oh my god, they actually talk!" But it's cool that they, uh, you actually have somebody actually voicing these lines and. I don't know. You don't have to have a silent protagonist just so so you can step in their shoes. It's not supposed to feel that way. At least I don't think for this particular game. But oh my god. Been worse. And from the sounds of it, you're about the same. You do know that if anyone finds out who we really are, it's all over, right? The mission's more important than either of our lives. If we screw this up, there's no going back. I didn't expect to fall off a cliff, though. <laughs> Alright, the Tridia uh, we'll Desert. You don't look hurt, though. So that's good news. You can move, right? Uh, I think we should find a place where we can see the whole area. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to freaking play this game. So, uh... Let's go. So, yeah. Here we can actually move around. This is kind of like our, like... I guess overworld combat where we can actually run around we can actually fight enemies here without going to an actual battle it's not recommended to, to fight these guys though because uh, they're way above our level but I've seen Stop. wait I'm sensing something close don't move oh god it's a freaking worm watch out. yeah those look especially dangerous so watch out I don't think they noticed us yet, though. So that's right. We get our, uh, like, our third eye that you get in, like, a Persona. Persona 5, at least. You would, uh, kind of, you can kind of see different levels. Okay. Depending on if you actually sit. What the f- What the hell's that? 
Ah. Don't. Watch this. Slash! I see. No. Looks like they found us. They don't. Oh. Oh no. I started something I should have done. I should have done it. Oh, break me. I think we're in our head. Oh my god, we got level 8s, level 10s. No. Oh, we just need to run. Get me out of here. I'm scared. 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 Get me a What the hell is that? We got to be careful. Oh my god. I can't. I can't. Do I got to go. Get me the hell out of here. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I shouldn't think so. Look. Oh. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> I wasn't expecting, like, a few of them to come chasing me. You can't actually defeat an enemy, though, there. Just checking, but you do remember what we're here to do, right? No, I just started this game. What do you mean by that? Uh... <laughs> yeah, refresh my memory. Right. <laughs> what am I doing again? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. The mission that's more important than our own lives? First, we get to the royal capital and get you enlisted as a guardsman at the army's recruitment center. This could decide the fate of the whole country. We either do our jobs or we die. And if it's all the same to you, I'd rather stay alive. So we've got to see this mission through. Come on. We don't want the sun to go down on us in the wastes. Let's pull ourselves together and get back on the road. You know what they say. Anxiety breeds the world's cruelest monsters. I mean, fairies say that at least. <laughs> I can at least cast my usual spell for you. It's the small comforts, right? Right. It's as the whole music is playing directly in my mind. The effect of Gallica's magic is inspiring. Yes, music is actually magic. Music was the first magic this world ever knew, after all. Makes the road a little easier. <laughs> That's funny. Because it actually makes a, an actual re canonical reason why we hear music. I think that's amazing. Oh my god. It's so cool, man. It's just... I know it's not a whole lot, but it's just so cool. Hey, look! Over there. That, that's a road, isn't it? What a relief. Grand Trad is already in sight. Almost there. Let's keep moving and try to stay out of sight. Oh. oh my gosh. Let's go, boys. No. Come on, Galaka. Let's go. Oh my god. That's a whole gang. Don't worry about me. I'm just grabbing these herbs. <laughs> Run. Run right away. Oh. They look pretty tough. Careful now. It's supposed to be like a chimera. Banjula. You don't see me. You don't see me. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god. What level was that? 35. Run. 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 I, I, I was just joking, guys. Uh oh, this is bad. Ah. Ah. By this story of fantasy, may this faded world be painted anew. Dude, I am so... Oh, oh great seeker, bearer of fantasy empowered. Oh. Hear my wish and come forth from thy approach of glory. God damn it, I was raining it! I'll read it in editing, don't worry. Whoa, 
Just look. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Look at this place. Nice town we got here. Misuse of an igniter, you will hang by the neck until dead. <laughs> oh. yeah! There's no way that crowd was going to listen to anything a parabus said. <sighs> Such a shame. Might you spare some coin? <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> oh. Careful! Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, don't you have any street smarts? Come on, kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Jules! Here, gotta stay focused. Right. You noticed back on the wagon? You might be the only elder here in the whole city, even. Yeah, like I'm special or something. That is the thing about being an Eldo. You can see how like everybody has. This is incredible. Just look at all the different tribes. You never see this kind of diversity out in the countryside. But yeah, you can look at everybody, and they always have they have some type of feature, whether it's their ears, whether it's a horn, whether it's something that they're like, kind of like a morph of something. Some kind of uh, uh, of an animal per se, where we an Elda don't have those kind of features. You could say that we're more, uh, more human-like. I guess we're we're the closest it looks to be as a as a as a normal person, normal human being. You know. Not that it's very balanced. I see more Clamars and Roussants than anyone else. That is what um. We'll probably see that we're going to be outed for. It's not like, oh, you're so, you're this particular species. That means you're more higher up. No, we're probably bottom of the food chain, actually. We're bottom of the barrel. Which means a dopey elder kid's going to stick out like a sore thumb. Try to keep your head down, okay? Uh, then how am I supposed to look up? Hey, did you hear what they're saying about his majesty? They say it wasn't illness at all. I heard it was foul play. Assassination. Shh, careful who hears you say that. But it's just like the prince, isn't it? They say he was attacked in the dead of night. A war of succession is coming, I tell you. Sounds like monsters have been prowling the countryside. They're sending the guard out to deal with them. The army's really gone to hell. It's a far cry from when we had Count Luis at the helm, I'll tell you that much. Hard to see how the nation can come back from this. We'd not have to ask if the prince was still alive. <sighs> oh. The king dead. His son stricken. Are there none left to bear the weight of the crown? We've done all in our power. But not even the kingdom's best. The saint could purify this affliction. Over ten years he has languished under this curse. How much longer can his body hold out? No doubt his highness would protest. But uh, since he cannot, we have no choice. For the man who cursed his highness and murdered our king, there can be no mercy. I never thought I would have to ask this of you. But there are so few of us left now. There is no one else to turn to. Will you infiltrate the military to deliver a message to our contact there? This is your mission. For all our sakes, you cannot fail. We gotta infiltrate the military. Hey, are you listening? No, I was going in a flashback. Oh, I guess I can't blame you for feeling nostalgic. 
you and the prince were pretty close. Anyway, getting to the capital was only the beginning. Now comes the real high-stakes part. You gotta go get enlisted, so you can meet up with our operative. Remember, nobody here knows who we are. Nobody here knows the prince might still have a claim to the throne. That means if we get busted, that's it. Nobody's gonna save us. Step one. Let's figure out where the recruitment center is. Shouldn't be too hard, considering the need for soldiers. So? Alright, we could actually get to start moving around here. Do you know where we're going? Feel free to admit that you're lost and ask me for advice. Ah, uh, we can go open the map. And we can actually talk to her. Uh, and then we can save our game. What will I do? Yeah, see, I had my, uh, my saves beforehand from the demo. But, uh, I'm not going to try to, uh, use that for this. Unless I get back up to the point and I decide, like, hey, you know what? I'm just going to do it. That's cool that you can actually bring your save from the demo all the way to the main game. I really like that. Oh, my God, she's making up my shoulder. Oh, my God, yeah, yeah. Do 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 do. That's terribly unfair. Look at this. We can look around. Hey. But what is there to do now? <laughs> that was no ordinary animal. There were traces of something gargantuan crawling about. After all, so many rumors concerning monsters in the wasteland. Why? It's all you hear about these days. That's not what I expected. That's not <laughs> true. But I read in about Jillian books. It claims there aren't any near the royal capital yet. That's terribly unfair. Wasteland monsters better not come to the royal capital. As long as the gate's closed, and uh, we should be good. Hey. Stop. Uh, may I ask you to step away from the ac accumulator? That goes double for your one of your tribe. Uh, accumulator? It's like you don't know anything. How pathetic. You you're playing at? You no business here to be gone. You're getting in my way of the wo work. That's terrible. <laughs> uh, looks like it's like sucking in stuff, sucking in the air. Oi! Oi! Just can't stand it. Till a few years ago, gauntlet runners used to park here in the carriage, uh, carriage parking area. Look at them was the only thing I looked forward to. But nowadays, there's a ban on them or something. Ban on the freaking. Uh, okay. Hey guys, here we are, Grand Chad. Frankly, I don't have good things to say for how uh, parapets are treated here. We know we don't need you telling us. We got attacked by a monster in our hometown. <laughs> we only had no choice but to come here, regardless of how we're treated here. We gotta make it work. <laughs> man, tribes forced to come here. Ah. <sighs> A one, a two, a three. <laughs> you have to believe me. I saw me to uh, me own two eyes. I'm watching my second of town and come now. If there was true, there are we would already been dispatched. Enough right of your depth stories. That's terribly unfair. You're probably just spooked by a wild dog or mistook it for a monster. A normal man would just moved on. Yeah, here you are harping on about it. Idiot peasants. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> Don't look at me. Oh. Seriously, a tavern? Let's not put food before the mission. We got always come back. <laughs> okay, I know. I know. I can't really do much. Idiot peasant. Idiot peasant. Whatever will I do? Oh, come off it. Ah, it's an elder. Why is one of your kind here in the Grand Trad? I have business here. What's wrong with me being here? Is it obvious? The church has been clear. The elder will devilish magic that defies the teaching of Saintism. <laughs> Devilish magic, she says. If you were so magical, I doubt you have it so hard in life. She's aggravating, but let's not cause a scene. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not really uh, good for us. To spot the people that are like a little bit more important than everyone else. Hmm. Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So you. 
Penelda, huh? Pretty unusual in these parts. Oh, not trying to be rude. Just mind yourself. The city ain't the friendliest to us inferiors. Appreciate the advice. Does that bother you? <laughs> eh, I'm fine. Purpose tribe or not, I can knock those full six way, uh, ways from Idol's Day. Hmm. <laughs> God, dude. See, I, I, I've seen some of these characters in like certain snippets. Oh my god, I, I just really like their designs, man. Oh my god. Simply amazing. Look, over there you can see the royal palace. No, wait, that's not right. That's where the Grand Cathedral is. At least I assume so, since it's off the main street. And what is it? Seems to me, scientism is really a privileged thing around here. If more so than the monarchy. I mean, they got that giant freaking building. Big old landmark. You little bastard. <laughs> you little bastard. I'm a silver driver. How long will this take? Can't help but notice we passed the recruitment center back there. I bet I could register for the army faster than this carriage can exit the city. So hurry it up before I put a bounty on your horse's head. If I may. Now, sir, please have patience. With the royal funeral approaching, foot traffic is all at all-time high. <laughs> I just mean if I walked. <laughs> Look at that. The new model's out now. I could be out there slinging spells like a master if I had one of those. I guess that's the big city for you. Everyone and their mother has a magic igniter. So many different types, too. <laughs> now I want one. <laughs> Not interested. What's a magic igniter? <laughs> <laughs> now I want one for myself. Yeah, until you see the price tag. I can't imagine what it's like having to wave around some shiny stick to use magic. Yeah, who would ever use a, a, a whole, like, staff to use magic, you know? Without magic anytime I like. And I can even see the magla in the air. Though I'm not exactly an archmage. Wonders never cease. A fairy and an elden child. Are you new to our fair city? Hello. Well, I suggest you keep a low profile. Trust me when I say you don't want to catch the eyes of the lords and ladies. Ah. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I run this humble shop. Are you in the market for an igniter? Here's something that might catch a foreigner's eye. This is modeled after the royal scepter and would make the perfect souvenir. <laughs> uh, how much? <laughs> no thanks. The royal scepter? Uh, the royal scepter? You've really never heard of it. Wow. <laughs> Where do I even start? Uh... A symbol and instrument of the crown's sovereignty. Passed down through generations. If you believe the legends, it houses incredible magic. World-shattering power. More practically, you might call it the world's most potent magic igniter. And in the king's hands, it was enough of a deterrent to stave off invasion. Now he's dead. But no living heir either. Tragic, isn't it? Kingly magic is of little use without a king. You picked a bad time to visit, boy. I don't know why you're here, but there's trouble brewing. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. I won't be staying long. I'll keep that in mind. A word of caution, then. Your survival is your own responsibility. Thanks. Well, that was unnecessarily ominous. She has a point, though. We need to be careful. Anyway, we don't have time to hang around chatting with the locals. We've got a recruitment office to find. But I want to run around even more. <laughs> All right, I'll, uh, I'll start moving my That's behind. Let's head there. But I gotta talk to these guys. Oh, I joined the army because I looked up to Lord Lewis. But now I get my R's handed to me. 
If I so as much mention it. What's the state army gonna do now? We won't find any decent recruits, given the messy state of things currently. Sucks to be you, bud. Oh, the recruitment place? Go down the street toward the cathedral. It'll be the building on the left. Looking to enlist a soldier? Hmm. Not like there's other works for the elders, I guess. Just be silent. What? Nothing left to say. Now move along, irritated little shite. I'll give you more than enough. <laughs> Screw you, dude. Alright, we're not gonna really be able to really explore until a little bit later. I love the, uh... The switching between areas there with you walking. I was hoping that we blend in the crowd and no one would have noticed that you're an elder, but the people here have sharper eyes than I thought. We don't want to draw attention, but hiding your tribe is only going to make it worse. People may insult you, but do your best to stay in tall. All right. These are said and done, I'm sure, but it's for the sake of the, uh, the mission. And on that note, the recruitment center we're looking for should just be it, just head. Oh my gosh. What are you playing at? <laughs> Hmm. Hello. Oh, dude, are you from Silent Hill 2? Are you like Pyramid Ed? <laughs> Young man, what I interested in our shop's wares. There's no ordinary uh, Mustory shop. Hey, sorry. Oh, uh, we're actually in the middle of something. We gotta do something at the recruitment center. Recruitment center? You're lost. It's the large building down the street to the left. Stop by when you have time. I, know. I do business here all the time, so if you're in the area, do stop by. Alright, thanks, man. Yeah, we got we're like in the market area over the yonder. <laughs> when I heard that his majesty's been killed, I could hardly believe my ears. But he was a man different to festivities. His death would not cause any disruptions. <laughs> as long as we have his his eminence uh sanctifex Forden, this country will be safe. His eminence. Yeah, we got different people kind of in some sort of power right now. That must be the recruitment center. I'll let you take it from here. It should be pretty straightforward. Oh, and if they start asking questions, just be as honest as you can. Lying will only make us more suspicious. So long as you don't compromise the mission, you're fine. Good luck in there. Knock them dead. <laughs> Okay, you got this. <laughs> A blue blood, are you? The army's no place for velvet swaddled lordlings. Why are you here? Look at this, dude. Perhaps your noble family collapsed under its own weight. Is that it? Lineage seems a strange measure for a soldier's work. I'm looking to enlist. Is that enough for you or not? <laughs> An uppity one, aren't you? Fine, Lordling. Welcome to the guard. Where it'll be your privilege to die screaming and bloody in service of your country. But mark my words, war will turn your arrogance to piss. When your corpse is plucked from the mud, do try to look patriotic. Rousing words, Captain. You think threats will buy loyalty? No wonder nobody respects the guard anymore. But I'm here now, so perhaps the kingdom isn't a lost cause. <laughs> Insolent pup! You will learn your place. Don't. The healers have enough on their plates already. <clears throat> be gone, and be thankful you're still in one piece. All right, next. Hurry it up! Huh, an elder? I thought your kind was long gone. <laughs> Look at Galaga, just sitting there. I didn't even notice her before. Age 18. An orphan, too. The army can always use more of those. <laughs> so, what brings you to enlist? I want to fight for change. I need the money. <laughs> I'm just so bored. <laughs> I want to fight for real change. Lofty words for a gutter rat with an empty coin purse, no? So, what can you bring to our beloved core? Any skills to speak of? Alright, so this part I actually kind of figured out 
but it's this is kind of like the help give you a stat boost in a certain area so like for, for instance you got like i'm stronger than i look that'd be for your strength the sharp mind that's got to be for magic and then take a lot of punishment that's got to be like your vitality small but quick that's your agility and then of course your luck which of course freaking every drinking game has to have luck <laughs> i'm never good with it anyway so but uh i've done i would if it was me i guess i would choose one of these two these two are really good so let's go for the stronger one because i that's what i did for the uh for the demo i'm stronger than i look <laughs> With arms like that, you don't have to be. Right, last order of business. Make your mark or sign your name if you're actually literal. Alright. Here we go. So now we can actually name our dude. Now, <laughs> what's funny is because the meme here is the, the, the default name they would put is Will. <laughs> Will. That's my that's my character's name, Will. We're not going to do Will. We're going to do... Reno. It's, I, I didn't realize this before, but like Reno, and then you got Ren from like the, uh, the, the, the anime name from uh, Joker from Persona 5. It all comes together. I didn't realize that, that until just now, but you know. I'm going to name my character Reno. Yes. Letters, do you? We'll get some use out of you yet. All right, lad. Welcome to the guard. Yes! I'm sure you heard about the monster sighting, so stay sharp out there. We're short-handed as it is, so be a good lad and try not to get killed on your first deployment. You can pick up your kit at reception. Stand it as you guard the armor and igniter. Kingdom property! So if you break it, it's coming out of your commission. On your way, now. Up to... Next! <laughs> All right, we got in. What a long line. I guess we got no choice but to wait our turn. <laughs> Whatever. You're so young, are you listen and listen too? Well, not much choice if you don't have money or a job. Reeve, make the world go round, as it were. You want a magic at night? I join the queue. Gutton's only gonna get chewed out. They said trot won't matter in the army, but they probably put me in front as a meat shield. Now that I can find better work. Wish I could serve Count Lewis. His arm's built on merit, so even a parapist stands a chance. Though, given what we know about Lewis right now, he, he has dark conditions. Blast it! I came to the list, but I guess I heard you can make a quick reef here, but they really make you work alongside Creepy Elder. Parapist I can deal with, but Elder are right, are right ominous. Where'd you hear that? <laughs> God's own scriptures, that's where. Guess you can't expect an elder to know shite. <sighs> Let him say what he wants. Finding someone like him would just be a waste of my energy. <laughs> Boy, that. Yeah, everybody hates an elder. Everybody. I heard they get sightings. What? Of those huge monsters? You think that's why we're low on soldiers? I wish they'd have told us that. What do they call them? Something like, um, human? Next! No. Oh. My Hello, turn. Lamar. Wait. No. You don't look like the others. Surely not. An elder? It's the first of your kind I've seen. Move it. There's a priority around here. We're arming squires and children with igniters now. Waste of good gear. Spare off in my hands. Give it here. Brute force and crude insults. The world is yours for the taking. Care to say that again, boy? <laughs> we all have our reasons to enlist. Now get back in line. Oh, another high and mighty Clamar, is it? You think your pretty words will measure up to pure Rousseau strength? Oh, forget the tribes. 
This is a matter of pride. Now, you owe us both an apology. <laughs> Come on, no fighting in the ranks. <sighs> Sorry for making a scene. You all right? Uh, thanks. That was terrifying. <laughs> I had it handled. I had it handled. You didn't need to butt it. Okay, I didn't expect him to say it like that. I saw injustice, and so I spoke up. I don't think that's unreasonable. Well, see you around. Try not to die out there. Don't make my job any harder, please. Here, your igniter. Sweet. These days, most come with their own magma crystals. So with practice, anyone can use magic. To an extent, anyway. It's not the sort of thing you can master in a day. For now, newbies like you best focus on surviving. <sighs> The thing around his neck is apparently a magic igniter. The captain I spoke with earlier had one too. He must take on many different forms, like I saw on the main street. Mm. And take this too. Protect it with your life. Sweet, got a map. Wow, that's a real map. It's dangerous to even chart the wilds, but this is full of details. Only the military could pull this together. Listen up, striplings. My name is Captain Klinger, and as of this moment, you miserable lot are under my command. I'm sure you've all heard about our forces being tied up with the funeral proceedings for His Majesty. But if you think you're on cushy security detail, think again. First, you will be deployed to a fortress at the northern border, where you will be trained into true guards. Our veterans there will teach you the one thing you need to master if you're to survive. Hey. Perfect. That's exactly where our contacts hold up. Enjoy tonight's sleep, because it's the last full night's rest you'll get. This rest! Look at all the other recruits. They really are desperate for new blood. Oh, right. I know you don't know what our contact looks like yet. But he'll know you by your sword. He'll also know right away why we've come. And don't worry, I'll recognize him. Well, the charming captain is probably right. We should get some rest before tomorrow. Um... <laughs> hey. You awake? Yeah. Nope, I'm asleep. Aren't already? <laughs> nope, I'm asleep. Nope, I'm asleep. Good night. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> ha, very funny. Look, I just have a lot on my mind. Can't seem to fall asleep. I'd heard about what it was like in the capital, but still. When you hear and see all this prejudice out in the open, it's a lot. You okay? Never gets easier. That's just how it is. That's just how it is. Well, I don't think that should be how it is. Some people are even saying it's the lesser tribe's fault that the monsters are showing up at all. These are the same kind of people who burned down your village, remember? <laughs> that was a long time ago. i rather not think about it. That was a long time ago. Yeah, but still, the prince was kind to take you in. He cared more about who you were than what you were. I can see why you'd want to repay him. Oh, speaking of, he's the one who gave you that book, right? Can I see it? <laughs> sure. Ah, I can't wait. What book? <laughs> sure, I guess. I gotta say, I've been curious. Thanks. It's what you call a fantasy story, right? So it's a fantasy world made up by the author. The prince loved those kinds of stories. Okay, let's see. It says the young traveler was amazed by the world he saw. In this world, there is only one tribe. All people accept each other, and no soul is born into discrimination. Wow. So not even any fairies? I guess less differences means less to argue over. In such a world, there is no need for sorcery. 
a megapolis is built through learning and labor. Towers of glass that reach the heavens. Safe nights with no dark shadows. Busy streets well traveled. Yeah, like actual reality, you know. And in the laws of these emotionally satisfied people, it reads, all lives are equal. Wow. You see, no magic, no tribal conflict, and equality for all? It really does sound like a fantasy, but it's strange to feel envious of a fictional world. Hey, are you asleep already? <laughs> you know how hard it is for me to turn these pages on my own? Ugh. Well, I guess I'll just read more later. Good night. All right. Made it through the first day. Don't talk about y'all. Shouldn't you be resting? I'm fine. In fact, I'm glad we have this chance to talk. I've been reading, and I hope that someday we can make our kingdom like the place in this book. You said it was some kind of fantasy novel, didn't you? Mm. Our lives are decided at birth, by tribal purity, or by the differences that make us who we are. I don't want that to be the world we live in. The Elder here are a perfect example. If you'd not sheltered me, I would never have survived. And yet, they burned your home down. It's tragic, and no one should have to suffer so. Someone needs to fix... <coughs> you okay? Don't push yourself so hard. Oof. Reality is much too cruel. I know that. But I'll fight it. I'll fight to the end. I'm a prince. But I need to be a hero. One worthy of the throne. A hero? One who can lead. A beacon who will pierce the darkness when all seems lost. My father taught me that. In his stories, the kingdom was full of legendary heroes. So I can't give up. In my ideal world, people can believe in their future. Their birth doesn't matter. Not that I expect it will be easy. I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> Familiar words. When I'm down, when I struggle, you're always there to help me through it. <sighs> Let's do it. You'll be a hero. Trust me. Damn, this like curse or whatever. It's getting stronger. up either trust me that's cool we get to see the actual interaction between him and the prince that's what it is though equal equal lives you know doesn't matter how you're born or what you're born with it's that everybody is treated equally, no matter what. Until arrival at the northern border fort, one day remains. That's right. They got like a. Let's see. They got like a cool effect when they, when like the next day happens. 
wondering how far we come. Let's find our destination, the northern border fort. Alright, so this is kind of like how we get to explore different areas. Let's see. Let's see, there's the fort camp. Here. And we gotta go to the, the fort. Let's see. Just came from the Grand Trad. Oh, they'll this probably explain here. it later, but uh, essentially we use this to kind of like help us this place go here. to different areas. And it may take up a, a day or so just to get to there. So, um, again, your, your time's going to be used up. Because, you know, there's always going to be a time limit somewhere. So, uh, can't wait to really see when this whole freaking map opens up. Just look at this, dude. Look at the whole map. We got a whole map to go through, right? We're right in the stinking middle, but I'm pretty sure we're going to probably hit up down here at some point. Probably go to this, uh, over here by this port. That, that'd be good. Oh my gosh, dude. The whole different area. A snowy area. Oh my gosh. This place here. Hey, don't forget. Northern border fort. That's where our contact should should be. So hopefully we'll find him quickly. All right, got okay, it. Then. How are we gonna now's rest? Have a big day tomorrow. The carriage transporting the new recruits arrives at its destination. The next day, Idol's Day. The northern border fort. The towering fortress was built during the Annex War in the mountains at the edge of the territory. Even now, soldiers are sent there for its strategic importance to the royal capital and to combat the rising waves of monsters. Fresh-faced soldiers disembark from their coaches at the foot of a steep ascent to the fort, the first of many uphill battles. All right. Here we are. Oh, finally. Can hardly feel my legs. Listen well, you lackwits. The battlefield is no place to sit on your asses. <laughs> the border front is always a battlefield. The call to arms could sound at any time. Stand to, curs. You have the honor to serve at the command of Captain Klinger, war hero, tactician. Master of arms. When I earned rank in the trenches, forged in the blood of my comrades. Spare us this drivel. <laughs> Say, friend, I'm curious. What is it about that book that's captivated you so? A world with no magic. A world with only one tribe. It's hard to explain. Uh world with no magic it's interesting it tells the tale of a world with no magla arts a peaceful one a world with no magla arts would be better would it I, I admit i'm intrigued so it's describing a better world a utopia perhaps i'm something of a reader myself but that's not like any book i've read you know when the late king took the throne he was quite the idealist himself he made grand claims about unifying the people under his rule. Never managed to do it in the end, of course. Reform takes more than high-minded, eloquent speeches. Maybe he was too blind to see that himself. Listen to you. A babe with his first sword thinking he knows better than a king. Keep your mouth shut. No one cares what you think. <laughs> oh, nobody asked you. Something to say? Go on. I'm listening. <laughs> I apologize for him. Is that a fight you want? Don't worry, my friends all talk. <laughs> if it's a fight you want, draw your blade. <laughs> 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 Didn't think you'd just challenge me straight out. You've got guts for a lesser tribesman. Well, Clamar, I'll let it go this time. But only because I like your friend. Next time, keep your complaining to yourself. That's the last thing I need. Though I suppose I deserved it in part, speaking ill of the dead and all. My mouth tends to get ahead of my thoughts sometimes. Although, I'm glad a bad habit seems to have drawn us together. Oh, never got round to an introduction. I'm Stroll. Leon Stroll, son of the Count of Harlia. And you are? Leon Stroll. 
<laughs> I can't tell you that. <laughs> I'm Rena. My name. I have that right. It's got a certain weight to it. Reno. <laughs> For what it's worth, my title doesn't mean much. Here and now, we're peers and equals. By the skin of my teeth! Now, um, where was I? Right, as for you, fresh meat. Someone, help! Is that a, a soldier? Hey, speak to me, man. What happened? Listen, stay on guard. It's, it's too... Uh, oh, the uh, dead. He's unconscious. Not one of mine. Must be one of the fort's guard. Those damn vultures across the border. They must have heard about the king's death. Uh, anyway, to the fort. Double time. I'll stay behind to uh, see to the poor bastard's wounds. You want us to go on ahead? Alone? Shouldn't we at least send a team back to ask for... I knew fear would take you at the first step. You want to turn tail? Are you a traitor to the cause? The guard has no place for cowards. You are part of His Majesty's royal army. Swallow your fear. Fight with pride. And we'll all have medals this time tomorrow. He's right. We're warriors. Up there is our first chance of glory and riches. Damned if I'm gonna waste it. Let's go. Damn it. Well, I suppose this is what we signed up for. Onward to the fort then. All right, we're all freaking going to charge into this daggone thing. Hey, I've got a bad feeling about this. It's hard to explain, but it's like there's <laughs> a stench in the air, and it's getting stronger. I like how she has a little armor, a little armor helmet. Ah, I can't help. Hey, did something happen? Wait, is that a fairy? Did you catch it yourself? Uh, yep, just over there. Uh, she's with me. I don't see a fairy. <laughs> she's with me. Yes, and I have a name, by the way. It's Galica. So you travel together? You've stayed well hidden for quite a while. Well, I didn't want anyone making a fuss. But we've got bigger problems right now. I can't shake this feeling. We gotta be careful. Agreed. I'll follow orders, but I'm not about to let this armchair general send me to my death. Let's take a moment, then head in once we're prepared. I assume you know how to use an igniter properly? I'm not so sure. He's never used one before. I mean, he's a commoner, so not much chance to. Huh. Fair enough. Well, just stay behind me and you'll be all right. I swear I won't let you die. I'm with you. Yeah, Stroll is new ally. Stroll, a brave fighter, trying to conceal his nobility, has become your ally. Oh, this is bad. I didn't think you'd actually have to fight anyone. I just hope our contact in the fort's okay. Let's keep our guard up and hope we find out. For real, these did. All right. Okay. Finally, we get to actually do some freaking combat in here. Well, this is an unexpected turn of events, but don't lose sight of our mission, okay? <laughs> I know. <laughs> our allies inside here? Yep. Yeah, that's my guess. Somehow we gotta find him. <laughs> You're running with such purpose. What was that you were talking about? You said something about your ally. Actually. Oh, it's nothing. I was just worried about the soldiers inside. I see. Oh, I see. Well, whatever the case, the situation concerns me too. Let's go inside. Alright, yeah, our first taste of actually real combat. Yes, yes. Human. Charging! Pursue! 
That was another thing. Humans are actually <laughs> creatures. We have to help the survivors. <laughs> oh. Damn it. Well, they may be dead. Damn, this is horrific. So many dead. Grius, I hope you're safe. Hurry. It's no time to waste. If we look, we may find some still drops breath. Uh. Hello? Anyone alive? No, none of them are breathing. Damn, we were too late. There might be others. Let's keep searching. Alright. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. I'm gonna slash my way through here. Let's stash that somewhere safe. Oh, yeah. Exploration of a castle. There. Every game did. Every game has to include a, a, a castle of some sorts. Oh, frick! Get back. We've got company. What? So deal with this one. It feels similar to that monster from earlier. It's smaller, but is that a human too? Looks like we're going to have to fight it. Wait, if it's a human, do we even stand a chance? All the more reasons we can't just let it be. Trust me, I have some history with them. What do you think? Besides, our only hope right now is to join forces to strike as one. Would you not agree? <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> I agree. I'm glad you still got your wits about you. With you here, we might be just get through this. Got it. Look, we don't stand a chance against that thing if we attack it separately. We can all fight it if we work out a plan together. Take care of it, please. Understand? The two of us working as one. I'll trust your judgment on the time of the attack. Alright, so you can actually choose when to actually go into the battles. As long as you don't get hit, it should be fine. Yeah, press triangle anytime, but if you use square to stun him first and then start, you get an advantage. So yeah, it's always good to strike first and get him uh, stunned, and then you can actually uh, get, a, get a head start on it. Things will be fine. Uh, God, stunning! Oh my god. I, I'm gonna say, I really like the combat in this game. It's, it's just... It's pretty freaking nice. Uh, when you get into a squad battle like this, enemy, one party will perform an advantage initial attack. In addition, enemies will remain stunned at the start. So, usually they'll stay stunned for at least a whole turn. Uh, squad battles, attack, and your skills... And then, um, what might throw people off if you just only played like a Persona game, you would notice the, the icons at the top here and be like, what the heck do I do here? It's actually kind of like a mechanic that you would use in uh, Shin Megami Tensei. So it kind of mixes up the both of it. It play, I, I, I tweeted this out. It plays like a Persona game, but it has the mechanics of a Shin Megami game. It's okay. I think that's pretty nice. Can do this. And of course, there's different... There's more uh, tactics and stuff we can do here. But uh, let's just do a standard stuff. Alright, Mage Fire! Burn! Alright, we both burn him. Oh, yeah, we don't even get the freaking tour freaking party members. Alright, so we got a bonus. Because we didn't get hit. Oh, my God, almost full too. Literally, it makes me just want to grind through the game because it makes it, at least for this one, it feels so nice to fight. Until, you know, you, you run out of magic or whatever. <laughs> Phew! We pulled through it somehow. We're alive. That's all I can say. Ask. Let's press forward while well, we still can. Um. <laughs> there could be another human lurking. Well, looks like we got to take him down if that's the case. Oh, hello! We have the edge. God, I love the transitioning too. Let's go. All right, Arrow Hundo, burn! Keep it up. The power of fire. We do get some good items here. We did get, we get experience. We get mag, which is like, I guess, I think it's magla, and then money. Hell yeah, I leveled up. So just like in um. Uh, Shin Megami Tensei, you can actually put your, uh, put a point in a different stat, or whatever stat you want. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty good. 
And our magic's pretty bad, but our strength is pretty good so far because I made that choice for, uh... To, um... Why we were with the captain before we did our name. Well, actually, I'm gonna put my stuff in the magic here because we're probably gonna use that a little bit more for now. Alright. Uh, huh. Ugh, ugh. Be careful. All right, we got some teeth around here. Got him. Let's give him a fight. Let's take him ready. All right, let's actually strike. Oh my god, dude, that was so much damage. Resist fire. Oh snap. All right, we can possibly get to level three before anything. That's what's really nice. It's just like, oh my god, it, it looks so good. It plays so nice. Oh my, oh my god! Come here. That's right. Strike him down with one strike as well. That's crazy. Bum, bum. All right. Yeah, that's right, fools. Stupid teeth. I'm actually hurt. Did I get hit? Uh, I don't remember. Or maybe it's because I leveled up. That's probably why. I leveled up and it makes my health increase. So, okay. I, I was wondering. I was like, oh, I, d I don't think I got hit. Hello. Do, do, do. Wait. Hold on. Be careful. There's another one. If it spots us, this could get nasty. Hey. But we have the element of surprise. We can catch it off guard if we strike now, right? So yeah, you can actually sneak attack them from behind, and then it actually can give you a chance to get an instance done. Okay. Hey. You don't see me. Ha! This battle's ours. This battle's ours, Mr. Egg. Uh, but strike you down. Burn to Not done yet. Oh god, he's on fire. Ow, frick! That hurt, man. Alright. I think we're in the clear. I, mean, I didn't want to take a hit, but oh well. If you see use for it, I say take it really. Alright, I'm no wimp. I don't need to use items. I don't need that crap. That's for losers. Oh crap! Okay. My God, dude, this melt. Safer now. Oh hey. He's still breathing, but he's badly wounded. And Ella. Uh, don't bloody touch me. I'm in a bad enough spot without you making it worse. The monster showing up was your fault, wasn't it? Bad luck follows you people. Oh, of course, I'm the Saladins. Damn it. Damn it, all the bloody hell. <clears throat> wow. Even then, when he's dying, he blames me because it's my race. How dare you, sir? Run. You're so young. A fresh recruit. You get away from here now. That thing is up ahead. No. Still more soldiers left alive, right? We can't just run and le leave them be. You're too late, that monster. We can't. Just run away. Stay away from that thing. No. Oh. My comrades that I never saw. No. Damn it. Oh, damn, Elder. I knew this fort was cursed. You're why that horror attacked. Hey. Calm down. It's not his fault the human appeared. You must know that, surely. But, but everyone's dead. They all had families. Help me, Elder. I don't care. I don't want to die. Damn it. Ah, well, he's dead now. Sorry, man. I couldn't really do much about it. It's like that, though. Oh, crap. Wait. You. You two. 
You're perhaps the search you're searching for someone. Th that's right. <laughs> I can't answer that. <laughs> that's right. I get it now. I thought as much. Now it makes sense. Why hide this from me? I trust you have a good reason. Well, to tell you the truth. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> that cry. Is that the human from earlier? Was that? At the top of the tower, huh? It sounded like it came from the top of the tower. Maybe there are still soldiers fighting it there. Hurry. We'll handle our personal matters later. Rescuing any survivors takes precedence. To the top of the tower. Let's hurry. Well, hold on. I gotta look around first. Gotta look around for clues and more enemies to stun. I gotta level up. I gotta reach the max level before I freaking leave this fort. <laughs> My Shrek, I love that. Uh, we're getting less experience though. Oh, come on. I, I, I'm sure I can get to level three. I'm definitely gonna get to level three. Oh, it's an egg. Oh, an egg. Uh, got him. Boom. Fire. Why'd you wake him up, Stroll? Oh. Oh, get critted, dude. Hell yeah. Yes, we're level three. I feel even more stronger. So we are magic caught up to everything else. Yeah, we're not getting a lot of levels right now. Put it into our uh, energy. Or, or is it endurance? I think it's endurance, actually. Hello. We have the edge. Yeah. Uh, uh. There you go. He's still stunned. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Alright, you don't actually have to go straight in the battle. You can actually just fight him without going in there. You can literally just strike him down. Oh, look. So it actually took the two teeth together. It actually takes an effect of everybody in the area. Oh, yeah. Especially, I, I, I got like half my health bar now. Stupid barrels! The frick out of my way. I don't know why I'm striking that. Yeah, we do have a dodge mechanic here. So, uh, whenever an enemy strikes, there'll be like a white flash. That tells you for, uh, that they're about to attack, so that's like your time to dodge or whatever. I, it, it took me a while to kind of get uh, uh, used to it, but, uh, so. You don't see me! Nope. Nope. Oh, oh they're trying to find me! Guys, I'm not here. Hmm. Where do you freaking go? I don't know where to go. Hmm. I keep forgetting about the third eye thing. Yep, we're safe here. These guys are level one. Boom. It's like a tough one. You just killed it one shot. So, see, like for there. Oh my God! Oh, that was really close. I might as well just go in there. Look at that. Hell yeah. Yeah, I know a strategy that comes later. So, uh, be sure to kind of show that off for anyone that's wondering. Oh! Stroll? Stroll! Stroll! He's gonna see you! <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> that solves that. There, there's nobody here. No enemies in sight. Uh, str Stroll! <laughs> Watch out, dude! I'd say we're evenly matched. Got this freaking coyote, this feral, right behind it. Um. We have the edge. <laughs> freaking tooth okay. pop out of nowhere. It kind of scared me. Okay, we got a magma pill. That would help us. Alright, let's actually heal a little bit. Uh, the Mango Pill restores 20 MP. Got a Revival Medicine. I'm gonna try to not use that pill. 
so let's say some items are uh, really useful for later I'm gonna try my best to kind of keep hold of it but I don't have a lot of MP hmm. the roof is just up ahead I'd have a moment if I'm honest I have my doubts there could be survivors facing that monster together mind to be save anyone at this point but I'm gonna do it anyway. It's the noble thing to do. Um, Isn't that just throwing your life away? Why do this if it's possibly for nothing? I... Because if there's a chance that there's even one survivor, then... I'll not be the noble who runs away. Not this time. I can never live for myself. This time? Hey. And you? You, you plan to forge ahead despite its risk. I take it you refuse to die until you found whoever it is you're searching for? There's no turning back. I won't let you die up there. That's true, but <laughs> I can't just leave you up there to die up there. Ha! Huh, I'm touched. Even in a situation like this, you worry more for others than yourself. If I run now, I'll never deliver the message, and the prince will die. We have no choice but to press on. I'm heading out. Well then, lend me your strength. Onwards and upwards. And by upwards, I mean up the tower. Yeah, we can't save right now. We're not in a good spot to save. We I'm gotta press for This feeling, I knew it. The human from earlier is up there. What should we do? We gotta go. Yep. Try not to do anything rash. Okay, here we go. We gotta take it down. Oh. Huge. We can't let it get away with this. We have to hold it off somehow. Those pieces like <laughs> those like berries under your freaking like on your belt, dude. We got like an apple. Oh boy. Damned humans. It was all because of them. We'll just have to make it work. No. The mission depends on our survival. I won't hold back. Bert! Oh, that's that's not good. You're mine. The power of fire. Uh, fire's not working well here. Oh, straw. No. What's going on? It didn't even flinch. Damn it all! I'm not going down like this. All right. Uh, uh. Oh yeah, we're not doing damage at all. Kinda of sounds like Sephiroth's theme. Oh frick! Ow! How is it this strong? What more can I do? Prince is my best friend. I need to save him. Can't die in a place like this. And yet. I'll distract it. You two run! But above all else, I am a noble. And the noble defends his people. No matter the cost. Farewell. If you would repay me. Then live. Stroll, no! Oh my god. What? No! Please, say something! Stroll! Don't be a fool. Just run for it. Oh, fate saddled child. Oh, anguished traveler. Oh. Uh oh what what thy fate is crown twined thy soul bound for the throne here we go the future yet unknown dawns in this moment <laughs> thy path may fork but only one may be chosen confront the threat before thee or die here in obscurity now choose I choose <laughs> so be it Heroism lies in the soul that stands firm against its fears. Power awaits thy command. The time is come to awaken the hero within. Engrave thy very heart. Oh. Oh my god! Oh, what the hell? 
Ow, that hurt. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Awaken! Morph. Oh my god. Here we go. And now I'm a Power Ranger. Oh my goodness. Ah! Yo. What the heck is going on? Anyway, we've got to find a way to fight back. <laughs> How about I just do this? <laughs> Wind! That did the trick. My own power doesn't even compare. What's more, it can use magic despite its lack of an igniter. Oh, I resist that crap. Oh yeah, I got all my stuff Are back. Are you okay? If we don't push back, we're dead. Can't we fend off those attacks somehow? Attack at weak points. Certain enemies are weak to certain affinities. After you hit one of the windows, the word weak will be displayed. Yeah. Uh, and it will give you a decrease the turn icon by half. So yeah, it gives you like that extra turn. Looks like it mainly attacks the head wings and blade feet. We can target those. Seeker. Seeker. Wind. Attack the leg. Oh, me. Do it again. I took out his legs. <laughs> Never mind! Ah, oh, frick! Nice oh, I dodged. Like they could get you with that. Hell yeah. Let's go. Oh, I took out the legs. Attack the wiener leg while the leg's gone. Scour. You hit the, weakness. the wing is weak to wind. wind. That's crazy. Boom! Ah, uh, he's eating the apple! Uh... Holy crap. A thousand? Ow. It's eating its own fruit to heal? We can't kill it fast enough! It's just gonna fix itself up no matter what we do! Kick! I can't believe it's eating from its own body! Scour! <laughs> about wind! Alright, I did a little. Not critical base. Oh, yeah. Bro, can you not do that? Strike it down. Ow. Whew. If we don't take out those apple things, I think we'll regret it. I know that. You know, maybe there's something I can do. Hey, can you let me handle this? Have Galica knock down the apples to keep the fro for real? No, Galica, why would I do that? Yeah, you go, go for it. Leave it to me. Charge it! Ah! It can't heal itself anymore. Don't waste your chance. Damn, what, what move did you just do there? Wind! Wind! Alright. We can take this thing out now. Oh. Hey, I'm resisting the wind, buddy. You can't take me down. Oh, yeah. Come on! You can do this. I won't hold back. Wind. We do have a healing ability, so in case we get the very low. Ow, stop hitting me with that crap, dude. Wind! Alright, we did it! Yeah! Boom, you're dead. Hell yeah, we got a lot of six stuff for that too for leo's apple oh rank up and level up all right sweet our jilly went up let's bring up our magic true power is born of the heart a wish from which thy strength is drawn yet fear and anxiety always trail in such a wish's wake since time immemorial, those we call heroes have earned the title through this order. 
They pursued their wishes and boldly walked a path of virtue. I like how he's holding it like, he, like it's a codec. <laughs> Colonel. <laughs> what Val has awakened is the true spirit of a hero. The power that lies dormant in all of us. The power to reforge the fear of the unknown into curiosity. If thou wouldst change the world by thine own hand, take this newfound power and venture forth. Thy journey shalt reveal thy soul's mission. What was that voice? And you! What was that power you used? You had a metal heart, and your whole body was... It was crazy! Should I have yelled out Persona? Would that have worked? <laughs> Straw! I'll be damned. Someone actually survived. The voice. Grius! Oh, thank goodness you're alive! Grius! Galica, you made it. He's our man on the inside. The one I'm delivering the message to. He's badly hurt. You, boy, lend me your shoulder. We'll need to carry him. The smell of blood will draw out the beasts. Let's not hang about. The lad's out cold, but he'll live. We should be fine if we take a moment's rest here. Oh, you're a sight for sore eyes, Grius. Just wish it were under better circumstances. We're both alive, and you can't ask for much better in these parts. Sorry I couldn't join you in the fray. So, this is our newcomer, eh? How'd this boy manage to command power like that? It's like nothing I've ever seen. Do you know anything about it? I might. For now, the mission comes first. Ah, uh, right. I'd better just get straight to the message. Grius, you have a new mission. Avenge the king. And kill Louis Squeaburn. Well, good. It's about damn time. Those scheming nobles haven't said so publicly, but every soldier knows it was nothing natural that killed the king. Damn that, Louis. Couldn't stop at one royal, could he? Wait, there's more. The prince is getting worse. We're running out of time. Here, look. I brought a treasure from the village. They called it a farsight mirror. You need to see the prince's condition for yourself. Through the mirror lies the prince, deep in slumber, in the hidden village. His highness won't last much longer. Those thorns are thick enough to claim him. Luis cast the curse, so killing him is the only way to lift it. If we wait any longer, they're just gonna crown a new king. <laughs> Who's Luis? <laughs> Kill him? <laughs> Can someone catch me up? <laughs> Can someone catch me up here? About 15 years ago, a child enlisted in the army. But it wasn't his age that had people talking. It was his ruthless military genius. Hero to some, monster to others. Now look at this dude. Luis Guillaume, a prodigal tactician and a master of magla arts. Some said it was only a matter of time before he made general. The youngest the nations had. He looks like an actual main villain, too. Until he attacked the prince. That night, when the prince's quarters were breached, it was no ordinary mage who cast that fatal curse. It was Luis Guiaburn himself. But the son's death wasn't enough for him. Now he's got the father's blood on his hands. And if that king-slaying fiend ends up on the throne, we're all doomed. <laughs> But when we were exploring the royal capital, there were a lot more Luis supporters than I expected. How can they still trust him after all that? Luis is cunning. He left no evidence. Accuse him as you will, or the allegations wouldn't stick. All they could do was send him as far away as possible. A post in the middle of nowhere. Plenty of soldiers never believed the charges in the first place. When they look at him, 
they see a capable veteran unjustly made into the noble scapegoat. Most think the Royal Army was at its best when he was in charge, and in truth, it's hard to deny. Without him, we'd never have crushed the rebel uprising so quickly. Damn the man, but he's earned his titles. He's mastered the blade, magic, and he's clearly intelligent. To the masses who want change, he seems the savior they need. If even you're that worried about him, this isn't going to be easy. Yeah, very powerful man. That's a hell of a mission. And I want in. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> so that's your game, eh? Pretend to sleep, eavesdrop on the plan. You're a fool to give yourself away. If you want my blood, then let your blade strike true. I'm not going to run. Not from you, and not from a chance to do what's right. Look, Grius, he saved our lives back there. And it sounds like we could use the help. Seems like kind of a waste to kill him. Especially if he's volunteering. <sighs> then answer me this. The boy's all but a stranger to you. Yet you risk your life to save him. Why? I would live, fight, and die a noble, sir. To have done otherwise would betray my title, to say nothing of my heart. Uh, I'm losing my edge. Make me regret this. And I will slay you where you stand. <laughs> You'll let him help us? Right then. My life and sword are yours. As far as the rest of the world's concerned, you perished in that castle. You'll find the job ahead will be easier for a dead man. Your lives are kept only by the blades in your hands. And you'll raise them at my command. We have to. Alright, quest start. Uh, save the prince from death's curse. Save the prince from his curse and defeat Luis Gilburn, the tre treasonous fiend who not only attacked the prince, but murdered the king. Luis will also be at the royal funeral. If we are not back to the capital by then, we lose our chance at his head. But no main roads. That'll mean checkpoints and questions. We're bound for a different route. We'll cut through the abandoned mine up ahead to save us going the long way around. For tonight, see to your wounds. We'll leave at first light. But I'm counting on you. Alright, Grease is our new ally. Grease the battle hardened veteran has become your ally. Feels like the mission is finally starting. Let's set up our camp then. Yeah, mission start. It's quest start, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> we should finally be able to get some rest. This your first deployment, boy. Thank your lucky stars you survived a brush with a human. What the hell was that? It was like no beast I've ever seen. No one truly knows. They're protected by Magla, so even the sharpest steel does little good against them. They're no simple beast. All we do know is with every passing year, more of their kind tear travelers apart. That was why I was first sent undercover here, investigating. And? Did you learn anything? But nope. Simmer down, boy. There wasn't a damn thing to be found in those monsters. Simmer down, boy. Ah. Well, the moon's still low. If you've any other questions, now's the time. What? <laughs> I can't think of anything at all. <laughs> nope, nothing. Tell me more about the, uh, the uh, about the mission. I want to hear about the mission. With numbers like this, a head-on assault would be suicide. Quick. Covert assassinations are best bet. Kingslayer or no, Luis has a lot of public favor behind him. To the people, he's the only man with the wit and war power to bring down humans. The military seems powerless to stop them, so he plays savior. The man's practically a monster himself. By your age, he was not only a master tactician, but damn near an archmage besides. And the three of us alone are supposed to stop him? We'll just have to blend in with the crowd at the funeral. I won't abide him surviving the ceremony. He will die by my hand. Uh, I should keep the this the really dangerous stuff away, I hope. Oh my gosh, look at this. 
Oh. Oh. Never heard all my life have I witnessed anything like that power you used. Tell me, is there some sort of magic? No, I suppose it couldn't be. Not with the igniters we were supplied with, at least. Yours was broken in the commotion, besides. <sighs> Incredible. If only I had that kind of power back then. Apologies. I'm just thinking out loud. Today's been a trying day for us both, so let's get some rest. See this thing glowing over here. Huh? Gold beetle. Oh my gosh, I got a gold freaking beetle. Well... Oh, damn it, I wasn't trying to talk to you. Oh, I want to talk some more. What's the, uh, oh, it's actually pause this time. <laughs> It's just weird to me, man. I'm so used to, like, triangle being, like, a pause button. Um. Okay. Where? Oh, where? Oh, where? Oh, where? Gold beetle. A small bug that glows with, the, uh, with gold magla. Nobody would buy it. But there's apparently someone out there who's into them. Wait, a beetle? Oh, my. Oh, my gosh! <laughs> It can be only one man. One man only. It's Beetle! Yeah, he's back, baby! Yeah! That's right. Uh, I don't think that's actually going to be him, though. <laughs> you do the full job delivering that message, lad. It's finally time for us to act for his highness. Ah, you want to ask about that power, don't you? Huh? I had a question on my own. You seem to know a great deal about the royal family. Before you infiltrated the uh, army, who were you? Indeed. Northern Battle Mercenary, and yet, His Majesty gave me the honor of being His Highness the Prince Tudor in swordplay. The night of the attack, I was there. I see. Truly, that's incredible. He was there. He was there when the freaking all happened. Good light. Ah, oh, damn it. <sighs> Alright, uh, I don't think there's anything else around. That will be able to come back here. Alright, let's move forward. That's it. Oh, I can't sleep. Oh. You can't sleep? <laughs> Guess I'm not surprised after what we just went through. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Galica, I was, uh, that was right. Still, you've got to keep yourself rested to be at your best. I know. I'm not tired. The ground makes a poor bed. <laughs> the ground makes a poor bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're just going to have to rough it until we're back to the capital. I wanted to tell you, though. When the human attacked, I heard a strange voice. It told me my duty would be to guide you. What do you think it meant? I mean, I haven't exactly been much of a guide so far. All I told you was that we had to deliver our message, and that almost got you killed. I never expected it would be this dangerous, and it feels kind of like it's my fault. <laughs> I don't mind a little danger. <laughs> it's not your fault. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of your fault. <laughs> it's not your fault. You say that, but look, I can't fight with you, but as long as you're up against all this scary stuff, I'll try to help however I can. You've got something special, you know, I don't know what it is just <laughs> yet, but I believe in you. It's just weird how she kind of did say it, like I said, Reno, oh my god. Oh, hey, uh, you know what insomnia is good for? Catching up on reading. Ah, oh, frick. Oh, no, I dropped my book. Always oh, right here. If only our lives were anything like the world in your novel. It's just war after war here. With magla arts fueling the flames. But it's a nice fantasy. Enjoy it while you can. Uh, oh, I'm getting tired. I'm getting so tired. Huh, what? Oh, no, I gotta keep reading. <laughs> I feel like at the, uh, pretty much near the end of the game, uh, we, we might be able to actually reach this sort of fantasy. It will become true. Good night. 
Ugh. Oh, what the hell? Bright light. Well, hello. Nice to meet you. I've been waiting. <laughs> Welcome to the Velvet Room. Most <laughs> interesting power. You truly are an intriguing one. Well, hello. Fascinating. In the moments where your heart is most gripped by the book, I can reach out to you. My name is Moore, and I am the humble author of the novel you've been reading. Moore. You stand now in my study. Quite something, isn't it? A hall of wisdom, purpose built for the research of certain powers. Very Velvet Room esque. I call it academia. What, my hero academia? I'm just kidding. Man. That's cool, though. This is pretty music. Alas, it's as much a prison as it is a library. His most merciful majesty saw fit to lock me in this place. It has me a bit addled, honestly. I no longer remember where in the kingdom my study actually lies. I never imagined my voice would reach beyond these walls. Until you appeared. And now, by whatever strange forces are afoot, I can speak directly to your mind. So, what would you say to an alliance? <laughs> what what kind of alliance? Ah, <laughs> oh, this is way over. I don't care. <laughs> what kind of alliance? There must be more you wish to know. More. For instance, the nature of this fascinating power you've awakened to. I believe you have found a way to wield true magic. You need no petty conduit of mortal make. You can even change your appearance using the raw magma within. It is above all a mystic, long-hidden art. Now the stuff of legend. What I have come to call archetypes. Here we go. Archetypes? A spirit of heroic virtue. A transformative power that manifests only in those who embody the heroes and kings of old in some core aspect. Yeah, so archetypes are pretty much technically personas in a way. It's just uh, they have a certain affinities to them, certain weapons, loadout, certain skills you can have. So yeah, it's 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 like its own thing. Heroes of antiquity are often depicted as near mythic figures with forms transcending the mortal. These accounts are no mere allegory, but truth. However, none of my records describe anyone wielding such power as freely as you. In their truest oh, form, shoot, my bad. archetypes represent the power of a true hero. One who can drive away calamity and evil in this world, no matter its form. However, none of my records describe anyone wielding such power as freely as you. Perhaps... You are meant for not just proficiency, but mastery. In their truest form, archetypes represent the power of a true hero. One who can drive away calamity and evil in this world, no matter its form. Indulge me this request, and I believe my dream may yet be possible. Together, we can restore the kingdom's ideals. I shall gladly provide you knowledge and assistance to master your newfound power. So what say you? Will you take my hand in friendship? <laughs> no, I don't got much of a choice here. Okay. All right. Here we go. The bargain is struck then. I hear a voice from somewhere. The scholar in search of utopia. More. Within him dwells the virtue of the seeker. Nurture thy bond with him, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. Alright, new bond. 
So yeah, this is how the what manner of story this is how like the confidant slash social link systems gonna work here all by a handshake so the seeker archetype the party can now study the seeker once unlocked in academia allows the party to change between archetypes once unlocked in academia Wait. so yeah look at this this is just a chart of like pretty much all the archetypes that you could probably do look how many there are there's so many different freaking types and of course some will build into a stronger version of itself i guess that rogue body meant the seeker for more followers more is the first of your followers people that support your quest as steadfast allies that you can grow closer to strengthening your bonds with, the, with your followers will lead to unlocking various abilities that can change the sh the shape of your journey more is just the first of many so keep an eye out <laughs> shake on it <laughs> again i'm sure here's to our joined path and the thrills that yet lie ahead the royal funeral draws ever closer five days remain oh boy we got five days to get back to town Ready then? From here on, we travel in secret. If we have to get back into the capital, we'll have to do it undetected. So we'll cut through the forest, find the abandoned main shaft in the mountain, and take the tunnel to the other side. That way, they'll never see us coming, huh? Never see us coming! Lad, you'll be our vanguard. It'll be a trial by fire, but the sooner you get used to that power, the better. Speaking of, you were talking like you know something about it. Mm, not much. Just what I've picked up from missions in the early days. I've only heard it's a power found in those who walk a righteous path. Sounded like superstition to me, but everything's always clearer on the battlefield. Once I saw it in action, I could tell it was no fable. Never thought it'd come back to haunt me. Despite all my training and research, I never managed to master it myself. Huh. It really is something special, then. Don't forget. One wrong move, and I'll cut you down. <laughs> I'm aware. I'm watching you. Yes, I get it. Just trust me, all right? <laughs> right. Let's check them out. This will all be for nothing if we get lost. This place. They called it the Nord Mines, apparently. Going through them will put us near the capital, seems. Not being the case. Be a straight shot. This road should take us to the Grand Trad. All right. But first, we gotta get to the freaking mines. We'll check for a way around. Next up, Grand Trad. This place here. All right. Let's see. This place. Make our way towards the mines. The Nord mines are full of com complex paths. We can go through uh, through them to approach the capital undetected. Don't let your guard down. We'll be going through the Nord mines. Are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> Let's go. Good. We should hurry. Our focus is making it to the royal capital. The Nord mines, located northwest of Grand Trad. It is resource rich with magla crystals. Its proximity to the capital simplified crystal excavation, but the Sanctus Church's sudden proclamation of closure stopped work in its tracks. Exiting the forest, the party continues along the wooded road leading to the derelict mine. Moy's interest should be just ahead. Don't stray off the path. Huh? <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> Did your wounds reopen? <laughs> what happened? What's the matter? I may be imagining it, but... Mm. I can't help but we're feeling but we're being watched. No. Hmm. This deep in the wilderness, though. Couldn't be. Sorry, I'm just on edge. Don't let your guard down. Looking for an opening to escape. 
Don't forget I have my eye on you. I have my one good eye. Look at that. Hey, look! Up in the air. Birds! <sighs> that large bird is known as a corvo. It stalks its prey from the skies and goes in for a lambush. Hmm. <sighs> so what now? Like we need another addition to our list of problems. You can hide, wait it out. No, no we need to keep moving. We're already low in time as it is. Besides, let me guess. You can move much faster if I died back then and you didn't need to keep an eye on me. Come on, have a little faith. <laughs> Let's go. Should I? You tr if you're truly worthy, then demonstrate it. You need to move. Don't fall behind. Ah, we gotta go. Do, 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 do. Right, I'm the crowd going freaking come at us. No choice. Stop. Hold on, there's some wild dogs over there. Hunters, a beast hunt, hunt in packs. Should they come at us together, we'll be over the web if we're not careful. We can give it. We can't give them the chance to surround us. We need to find a different path for now. Why do you hesitate, lad? It's just a pack of wild well, dogs. Barely worth the uh, worth the moment's wood for someone just you. <laughs> really? <laughs> of course. Oh. Good. You're starting to catch on. You can't let the fear paralyze you. First, take a good look at your foes. Consider this your first meeting. Consider this is your first meeting, or are you familiar with them? Got it. Once you assist their strength, prepare your next move. If you are stronger, approach with caution. If they're weak. Put them down quickly. Oh. Now, size of the hundo. What do you make of it? It's stronger. It's weaker. I don't freaking know, dude. It's weaker. Oh. Dude, he slipped out of death's good at the foot, so this should hardly be a challenge. Yeah, you can you can actually tell what their level is with your uh, third eye. Um, and it makes it easier once they're like very low level compared to you. Uh, they're gold blue, they're low, same if they're yellow, and then higher, they're red. And of course, there's the unknown. When you lower it to a certain point that you can overpower certain enemies, you can simply approach the enemy to see if their color has changed. With a gauge of the weak gear force, get rid of your mind and simply do what must be done. Put them to the sword. So yeah, you can actually just pretty much almost instantly kill weaker enemies. And being attacked by them won't force you into a battle. That's good. Oh, that was the button to lock. I was trying to figure out what button was to lock on. Alright, the enemy view, so you can keep it. Okay. All right. Understood and try for yourself. There they are. Here we go. Uh, look at this. Bra. 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 I love that. You still get stat bonuses for doing it. Or, uh, or like rewards for that. Oh my god, so nice. So you're not stuck in the battle with everybody. Oh, that's right. I have more of a rule for you to keep in mind. Got it? Never drop your god, even against weaker foes. On the battlefield, fortunes can turn if you leave a light up for a moment. Should that happen, change your tactics and fight together as one. Stay calm and you'll be fine. Yeah, you can initiate it. Uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. If they're, yeah. So don't get hit pretty much if they're stronger. Don't get hit. Survey the situation and use different methods to fight. Never stop looking for ways to seize any tactical advantage. Find in dungeons. Evaluate the enemies in your vicinity, then decide if you want to dispatch it quickly, send them first, or direct or just directly. Uh, face sight will deter help determine your battle approach. Okay. I'm counting on you. There's no replacement for the first time experience. Get comfortable with fighting before we reach Grand Trad. I need to be sure you can defend yourself. That being the case. Yeah, let's be done. Oh, me! There are enemies around. Watch your step. Oh. Watch out. There we go. This is our chance. Let's take them away. Woo! If you remember how the battle is going, you can restart from the beginning. That's also another thing. You can just retry the battle. And this is to help if you need be. Seeker! Scour! Boom! Take this! Oh, 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 oh crap. So you say I can bust on through. Victory well here. Well here. Oh, I got a critical off of that, dude. 
Boom! There we are. Forget if I can actually check their, uh, their weaknesses. Oh man, I'm so close to leveling up to five. I can do it. Come here, guys. Take out the pack. Yes! Level five. Hell yeah. I think we're in the clear. Got like a butterfly. This battle's ours. This battle's ours. Alright, wind works against the butterfly. Oh my god! <laughs> ah, it's so lovely. They chose the wrong opponent. I think we're in the clear. Alright. And pretty simple, basic stuff. Oh, hello, dude. Uh, stat, no. Analyze. Here we go. Yeah, it does tell you right here. Eat my wind. Hey, man. I haven't seen you a lot around in these parts before. You wouldn't be bandits now, would you? What are you talking about? You can dodge it yourself. You really think I look like a bandit? Ah, oh, hell. Well, at the very least, I suppose you're not crooks. Hmm. I guess I'm just on edge. I know it's funny to think so in a deserted place like this, but I feel like I'm being followed. Right. What are you doing in a, such a remote place? Whoa, I'm not your enemy, friend. I'm just a peddler. I'm a regular near, nearby, so I came for business, but beasts are real bloodthirsty today, so I assumed a human appeared. Oh. For instance, have you heard about the human who appears from nowhere and wipes out entire towns? Terrifying, no? Yeah. My apologies. Didn't mean to sour the mood. Hey, um, but would you like me interested in buying something? All right. So yeah, we can buy stuff from random merchants. Uh, nothing I need so far. I can sell the the treasures I got though. Now then. Hell yeah, make some bank, baby. Hmm. My trade. You hear a lot of gossip. Uh. Plenty of rumors lately about beasts from all over getting more feral by the day. When that happens, a human eventually appears out of nowhere and destroys some town or village. It kills me to even speak of it. I heard that monsters have been running amok lately at the nearby border fort. Hope nothing bad has happened. Yeah, well, been there. Oh, have you found something worth selling? I can give you a good price. Plenty of stuff in these woods. Lots of rubbish, but some materials too. You won't catch me scavenging for it today, though. Thank you. I'll stay put until the beast settle down, uh, down some. You'll find me somewhere worth selling. Well, you know where to find me. <laughs> they saw us. On your toes, everyone. Watch out. Oh, yeah. Some of them actually tell you an area they're going to like hit. Get out of my way. Man, I'm mowing through these enemies. Oh, it just feels nice. I think I'm getting used to this. I'm going to keep saying it. It's just, it's great. And then I get the, uh, the wind skill for everybody. Like, I hit every en enemy with it. That'd be good. Um, I don't think it'll tell me right now. Oh! Oh, freaking bird. Let's go down. Good, it's still stunned. It can't hit me. Don't be careless. Wait, what? Oh, frick! Okay, Grius. He wanted to take the kill for himself. I'm gonna say, I don't know, think it's gonna tell us right now. No. We gotta wait until later. God, I do so much damage with that. Ba, ba. I think we got them all. We'll be safe for a while. Ah. All right. Hold. The area is suddenly grown dense. Got a moment? Hey, what's going on? We've been surrounded. Even out here, it would seem that the monsters are at least our concerns. <laughs> I know you're gonna hear me. Just show yourself. 
Or would you rather me come at you? Damn. Awfully sharp for an old co a goat, aren't you? Bastard live long enough, kill him quick! Oh boy. It appears we must do this. I've never fought soldiers before. But I won't waver. Ah! Scour! Okay, dude, attack on your own. What is that? Never seen anything like it! That's not an igniter! Huh. It's our turn now. Uh oh. They're gonna come at me, man. Alright, it's learning telling us how to guard. Guarding helps increase the uh, the damage here. I think something's coming! I can take Watch out! Take this! Don't worry, I'm guarding. You're gonna try to burn me! Oh! Oh. Alright, sweet. Burn this while your formation will affect damage party members deliver and receive. Alright, so this is where it kind of goes a little bit differently here. Because there's a front row and a back row. Basically, what you want to do is have your uh, your physical attack people be up on the front while the pretty much the mages go on the back. I can start like this. Let's go. Focus on doing uh, that. Here we are. Here they come! <laughs> Here they come! Go down, man. Grius, no! Shite! Oh. All right, fine. I'll take him out. There we go. Oh my god, dude. So much experience for that. Are these the soldiers from the fort? They survived? No, I couldn't be. They're simply deserters, aren't they? No. That's not what I'm asking. How will they have already mobilized a pursuit? I don't know, but I think it's safe to say I'm the least of your worries at this point. Let's hurry. In any case, we should probably get, keep moving. Let's go. All right. We made it to the mine. Here we are. Looks so creepy. Well, I guess he did say it was a, it was abandoned. Oi, the Crown Therocracy uh, ordered it, so I haven't been to this place in quite some time, despite the royal decree. I still hear of miners risking it all to come to this place, seeking the riches left with them. Hey. We'll happily trade some illegal miners for the armed detachment of soldiers pursuing us. Shall we hurry inside? Indeed. You're not run there. Make preparations if you must, but be quick about it. So? Alright. So now that this is technically our first, first real, real dungeon, if you don't count the fort. Hey, fellas here. I call me surprise. There's gonna be others' business at the end of mine. Why come here of all places? Is there someone you know inside? <laughs> I could ask you the same thing. We're just passing through. I can ask you the same thing. How many heard? This place was abandoned, but a few blokes stayed behind to do some less than illegal mining. One was an old friend of mine. I saw the stones he digs out. But enough of that. Surely we met for a reason. So is there something you need? Allow me to accommodate for you. And you don't have anything for me. Tell you this stuff though. Uh. This area used to be a quite a bustling little hub. These days, only the curious tend to get close. Of course, I made a fortune in those days. Now I'm lucky to get loose change. But it looks as if the veins were far from depleted. So, why did the Saintist uh, Church order the mine's closure? Thank you. Uh, thank you. Alright, guys. I'm gonna end this video here. I am, uh, I'm very excited. To get into this game. Um, super, super duper excited. I, I really love the the kind of time and it, what uh, the the uh, the world that it is, and the, the combat and everything. Everything's just so nice. The the just the the look of it, the the animation. Oh, it's just so nice. It's just so nice, man. I really cannot wait for more of this game. 
And uh, I hope everyone else enjoys this series as much as I will. So, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, go ahead and leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you hadn't done already, as it really does help me out. And until next time, guys, I will talk to you all later.